Hey Nuri, we are here at the park entrance, which just opened within the past hour. We spoke to several guests who couldn't be more excited to be back on the rides after over a year. They'll notice many changes the park has made to keep everyone here safe. After a year that has felt like a roller coaster, California residents can now ride a real one. Ten of them to be exact at the newly reopened Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. The Vallejo theme park is back open with rides under new state guidelines. We're incredibly excited. You know, this is a day that we've been looking forward to for a very long time. Uh, it's been more than a year since we've been able to have rides operating for our guests. Some things will look different, including new temperature checks, touchless bag scanners, and social distance markers. The park wants visitors to know that these coverings are required all throughout the park, including on the ride. We're here on the jump train. As you're about to see in a second, these rides are just as thrilling, even with all the new changes. Under the stage red tier, the park is able to operate at 15% capacity. It's pretty exciting. I'm really glad uh, that they were able to get open. I'm hoping to get on some rides today. I'm kind of a chicken, <laughs> so I haven't missed the major rides, but honestly, I missed the water ride. Um, and I miss seeing all the characters and just the whole experience. One guest we spoke to was eager to return for a different reason. Being in a service dog handler, I think it's like, it's training opportunities and especially I have a new puppy where we're training a lot. You know, this guy's a little rusty. Back out here live, we are seeing guests continuing to come through the front gate. An important note, if you are planning on visiting, make sure to get a reservation on sixflags.com. They are required to enter the park. Reporting live from Vallejo, Austin Castro, State of Events.